you know, when we see all these companies doing buybacks, returning capital to shareholders, that's great. That's good for, you know, the shareholder base. But wouldn't you rather invest all that money within the company? I mean, we do, we do both. Uh, we are a very healthy company with a very, very strong balance sheet. We have a good basis uh, net liquidity. We are earning money and not just uh, book, book money, but real money. That means positive cash flow. We invest a lot. We invested in 2023 a billion more than our pretty high depreciation was. We will continue in that pace, uh, but we still will have uh, leftover money. And that certainly uh, uh, is, belongs to our shareholders. We will pay a consistent dividend. We raised our dividend from 130 to 190 euros per share. And yes, we announced a capital uh, share buyback program for over a two-year period, and we are progressing on that. Uh, and once we are done with this, we, we, look, uh, we look further. But this is what not just our company, but in general, healthy, well-financed companies with a solid balance sheet can and will do. Hmm. Um, just quickly, um, a question about your pricing power, because it seems that you have a higher pricing power in Asia than in North America. Is that true? And how is pricing going to develop going forward? I mean, pricing is predominantly, first of all, uh, pushed by cost increases. Yeah, we had energy, energy, transportation, huge impact into our cost position, material. That is all played in the past. There were, were significant uh, headwinds, uh, which we had to counter with pricing. We'll, we'll see wage increases, uh, both in Europe and in North America. Uh, so this, this cost pressure will continue. Uh, Pricing power for me is more an, an, an issue how good your product is. And we have a great product line 